Hi, on this lecture video, I'll be discussing some of the structural and physical properties of alcohols. So first, let's analyze the structure of the alcohol. So here an example of an alcohol right here, and alcohol basically have the oxygen in them. And we have also seen that all these are there are all the functional groups that also contain the oxygen in them. For an example, water, and we can also have ether as well. So this is an ether. And we can see that the bond angle in the in the example of an uh, alcohol oxygen is very much similar compared to the bond angle in water or in ether. Now, clearly, there will be some small differences, but then overall, they seem pretty much almost the same bond angle. Water, the bond angle between water, the two OH bond, is 104.5. Versus in water, this is now 108.9. So that a big chain, right? There was there, it, it, a big chain, but not that big. But if bond angle is slightly different, okay? And in the case of the ether, then now this bond angle right here is 111.7. Uh, degree. So they deviate from the ideal 104.5 degree a little bit, which is the ideal angle for tetrahedral. So they deviate between a uh, tetrahedral 104.5 a little bit. And as for the OH bond in the case of an alcohol, then this is about 0.96 angstrom right here. So very close to being an angstrom versus the bond between the carbon carbon in the alcohol is about 1.1 of uh, 0.43 of an angstrom. And again, this is because the hydrogen bond is actually uh, smaller, the, ox the oxygen atom is smaller, so the bond between the oxygen to the hydrogen is slightly shorter compared to the bond between the carbon and the oxygen. And due to the elect high electronegativity of the oxygen in the alcohol, the OH bond in the alcohol, just like water, is polar. polar. And because of it, water or alcohol basically have a net dipole moment in them. So here's an example of an alcohol right here, and we can see it have the a very similar uh, net dipole moment uh, in comparison to water. And therefore, alcohol have a very high boiling point compared to the corresponding alkane and halo alkane. Now we can see that the halo alkane is also polar as well. But its boiling point is not as high compared to ethanol or water. And the reason why is that we could now we can see that this alcohol are able to make the dipole-dipole force. And that is the explanation why they have a high boiling point. But the same explanation can also for go for the halo alkane as well, because this is also polar. But why are the alcohol? have a high, much higher boiling point compared to the halo alkane. And then the answer, due to extensive, extended hydrogen bonding that alcohol are able to make. So it is the hydrogen bonding that raise the boiling point and the solubility of alcohol in water. So here are uh, how that hydrogen bond work out right there. So we can see that be among the molecule of alcohol, they're able to make hydrogen bond with each other. Each molecule of alcohol can essentially make up to 3 H bond with three other alcohol. And so here, in this case right here, the lone pair of electron here on this oxygen is serving as the H bond acceptor. And here, this piece, of, this part right here, is the H bond donor. And they're able to make the hydrogen bond. And as for the strength of the hydrogen bond between two alcohol, they're about 5 to 6 kilocal per mole. In comparison to a real covalent bond between the hydrogen and oxygen, this is about 100, uh, 104 kilocal per mole. So each bond is significantly much, much weaker compared to a real covalent bond. However, they're significant enough to the point that they can raise the boiling point of alcohol and also the solubility of alcohol in water as well. And depending on, on the structure of the alcohol, and uh, basically namely the hydrocarbon chain, then alcohol can have a hydrophobic and a hydrophilic region to them. So most alcohol are then say to have this, so depending on this alcohol chain right here, this is the hydrophobic region. 
and it is this OH part right here that is the hydrophilic part right here. And in this example, we are seeing that it is this hydrophilic region right here that are now making up to three uh, each bond to three molecules of water. So this can be water or a different alcohol molecule. So each molecule of alcohol through this OH part right here can make up to three H bond. And these are some of the examples right here of some of the common alcohol and the solubility in uh, water at 25 degrees Celsius. So when the alcohol are very short, for example, four carbon or shorter, then this is when they will have complete solubility in water. So we, they will be miscible in water, meaning that they have infinite solubility in water. But as the hydrocarbon chain get la longer, for example, when we have uh, hexyl or, or long or pentyl or hexyl alcohol and so on, when they get longer, then now the solubility get reduced by a little bit.